Get up to rock, get up to burn, stand with the pride and burn for your desire. One day I noticed that my life was broken. It was not me who was controlling. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to week number four here in the Spike Magazine trophy of the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League. I'm joined once again by Artificial Bunny. How's it going, man? Oh, 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 this is the Blood Bowl I've been waiting for. Oh, man, I thought you were going to go with some sort of Christmas theme or something. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, it's going to be Necro versus Kislev. It's going to be the Double Dippers versus the Carnivores. Sweet Bunny versus Nick Satan. Uh, let's take a look at the standings, shall we? Over in Division A, the Knights and Uffle, with their win this week, they uh, move into first place. A Brett team coached by Clypheus. They have a record of three. <laughs> three. <laughs> three one and oh. <laughs> uh, Clypheus, thank you for the bits, and uh, uh, I'm sure you. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure that was for you. <laughs> Skinner Twitch tied high in second place, coached by Berserker Tempest. <laughs> That's a scaven team. They're coming in at uh, a record of 2-2-0. Two, two and oh. In third place is my team, the Dead Presidents, an undead team. Yet to play their week four game, 2-1-0, oh, and they're followed up by the Damaged Dragons. That's who we're playing this week. That is uh, coached by War Horseman. That's a Lizardman team. 2-0-1 oh, is their record. Tonight, we're hanging out in Division B. In first place, the Dinner Bell Darlings continue their undefeated streak. They are 4 0 0 at the end of this week. The Double Dippers are up tonight. Second place, coached by Sweet Bunny, a Necro team. 2 1 0 is their record. They're going to be up tonight against the Carnivores. They're in sixth place, coached by Nick Satan, a Kislev Circus team. 1 0 2. They're looking for their second win here at the midway point in regulation play in the Spike Magazine trophy. First up, let's take a look at the Double Dippers. They're coming in at a TV of 1280. They have a 12 player roster. This is a Necro team. I think they're, I think Necro is a very, very solid team in Blood Bowl. Two werewolves, two flesh golems, two whites, just one ghoul. Everybody else is a zombie on this roster. You can see the werewolves, they have Claw, Frenzy, and Block. And then Loki, the, the level three werewolf, has picked up Mighty Blow as well. The two flesh golems come with Stand Firm. Dr. Doom has the block skill. The two whites being the Blitzers, they come with the block skill. Rocket Raccoon, the ghoul, has the dodge skill. And then all the zombies simply have regen. Three TRRs, seven fan factor, one Necromancer, because whenever you uh, field a team that has regen, you don't get an Apothecary, you get a Necromancer instead. Uh, very, very solid roster, I think, you know, the two werewolves have a lot of speed. Claw is very, very effective. Uh, Frenzy can pull players out of position. It can surf players. It can sort of narrow the pitch for uh, which can be really put a damper on a lot of teams, including a Kislev team. He has the Flesh Golems. They have Stand Firm uh, and a Strength of Four. They can exert solid pitch control. The Whites can go go out and start beating people up. He's got the, the Ghoul. He's got Rocket Raccoon, the ghoul, with a MA of seven as well. Lots and lots of great positionals on this team. He's going to be up tonight against the Carnivores, coached by Nick Satan. He's coming in a TV of 1230. However, he's going to be a one player down. He's going to have to pick up a journeyman. That's going to bring his TV up to 1290. That means he's giving 10K back to the Double Dippers. The Double Dippers have no money in their treasury. There's nothing they can do with that 10K. So there'll be uh, no, uh, no purchases in the inducement phase tonight. A Kislev team, 
is really defined by this. Everybody's got leap and very long legs. They can jump around, right? It's very hard to keep a formation in front of a Kislev team because, the, uh, you know, we've seen it with the Wood Elves time and again. We've seen the power of leap. We've even seen it with this Kislev team, the power of leap. They can leap across a line, no problem. If you want to stop forward movement against a, a team that has leap, especially one that's defined by leap, then you have to reset your defense where where you're kind of staggering players and preventing the leap player from getting a positive dodge and running away from you. But that means you're condensing your players and you're not covering the full width of the pitch. So it can be tricky to defend against uh, a Kislev team. The downside, of course, for the Kislev team is that uh, they rely on those leaps and those leaps are die rolls and they're not safe die rolls. So you can see Nick Satan <laughs> has picked up four of them. Um, he will probably go through all four each half, <laughs> but uh, but we'll see. Um, you know, if things go well, great. If things don't, you've got the rerolls, um, but really you just have to hope that Nuffle's on your side here. Now, he has leveled up a few players. Uh, what do you think about these pickups of Mighty Blow on Feathers and Snickers? Uh, that's a little bit of an odd one for me, getting Mighty Blow before block. It's a little odd, but I have a feeling that we're gonna be looking at Lucky all night. Just look at that. <laughs> a yeah, blodge, lucky the jumping catcher. Yeah, Ooh. lucky the catcher. He's got uh, leaping very long legs because he's a he's on a kids live team, of course. But he's also a blodger here at level three. I think that's a, a solid pickup, of course. Uh, block and dodge means that only the pal is going to knock down Lucky the Catcher. Being a catcher, he has a strength of two, but he does have that AG of four and that ME of seven. Very agile, very mobile, very scary ball carrier, or perhaps even a scary receiver. Um, uh, whoa, I didn't want to click on Lucky. Uh, but these two Mighty Blow players. So Mighty Blow means that uh, yeah. on an armor roll, you get a, uh, a plus one. And if you don't need it on your armor roll, you get it on your injury roll. Uh, what do you think he's going for with having these two Muddy Blow players? Uh, I I think he's trying to get some removal on his team, but I'm not sure if uh, having it on alignment is the best way to go about it. In my opinion. Mm. But... Fair enough. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if he can put these guys to work. It sort of betrays the fact that he's probably setting these guys up to maybe be his blitzers. Um, we'll see what happens uh, tonight. I imagine, uh, I imagine Sweet Bunny is not going to allow those Mighty Blow players to just go, you know, run all over the place. He's probably going to try to lock them down. He's probably going to try to block them down, quite honestly. If he can take them off the pitch, he doesn't have to worry about that Mighty Blow. Baggy, the kicker, uh, a pretty decent uh, pickup against uh, a number of teams. Uh, it'll be a decent pickup against this uh, Necro team as well. Um, if he finds himself in the lead and he's got a, a you know, maybe a a quarter to even a full half uh, against this Necro team. He can kick it deep and just have them uh, eat up a couple of a uh, couple of turns, getting the ball back to the line of scrimmage, or he can kick it shallow if he thinks uh, maybe he's got a player advantage and mm -hmm. uh, he can go after that uh, that ball and pick it up on defense. Uh, yeah, four I, reroll. I think that's a great tactic. Yeah, kickers, uh, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Kickers uh, are an, an under underlooked skill for a lot of new coaches in Blood Bowl. Uh, it's a pretty solid skill pickup. And I think uh, a, a quite a quite many, is that a phrase? Quite <laughs> quite a number of teams uh, can really benefit from a kicker on their roster. One oppo, five fan factor, one coach assistant. Uh, he's uh, There's no guaranteed uh, fame tonight. It's seven versus five. We'll see who gets it on the die roll. Um, I mean, uh, look, again, they're two great coaches on paper. Oh, Doug, the Minotaur, thank you for the sub so much. Six months is crazy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, it's very kind. I, I genuinely appreciate every sub. It really does mean a lot. Thank you. Um, uh, but yeah, the double dippers with Sweet Bunny here. I, You know, the two great coaches. I think this Necro roster is absolutely solid. Um, yeah. You know, Kislev. I, I think it's going to be lucky versus Loki tonight, basically, and the rest <laughs> of the team uh, bringing up <laughs> bringing up the rear. Yeah, the, the, again, the problem with the Kislev team is just that reliance on those uh, on those roles. Um, if Nick Satan can can bring those roles down, like if he can find 
a way to get, you know, a handful of turns where he doesn't need to take uh, these risky rolls, he might be in good shape because again, leap, leap gets you far, right? Like it, it crosses a defensive line. Um, it, it breaks up formations very, very easily. Uh, he can use leap to, to cage bus. He can use leap to, to break away to the end zone. Uh, you know, you get a lot of options with leap. Um, but man, just the reliance on, on die rolls, that's almost antithetical to, to Blood Bowl strategy. You, you typically want to remove your uh, reliance on die rolls in a game like this. Uh, but we'll see what happens here in uh, just a second. We're going to head on over to Cabal TV. Looks like the coaches are ready to go. And uh, nothing's going to happen in the inducement phase in this game. There's just not enough money to do anything with. Uh, Clive says, man, the problem with that team is that it relies on rolls, unlike the other team that doesn't have to roll dice. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you. <laughs> uh, Deck the Minotaur says, Mighty Blow Claw, gross. Oh, did he put Mighty Blow on one of his uh, werewolves? Did I miss that? Yeah, yeah. Loki uh, has uh, Mighty Blow and Block. That is gross. Uh, potent combo. <laughs> All right, clear skies. It looks like uh, looks like the circus. The carnivores here are going to set up on defense. They're setting up very wide with their defense currently. Three man defensive line. Uh, you can see their journeyman, uh, Konstantin Antonovich, the number eight lineman. He's on the line. I'll I'll have to say that I'm also uh, rooting for some Clypheus puns. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that makes uh, that makes one of us. I mean, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> the little things in life. <laughs> <laughs> Two wide straight across the pitch here uh, in either wide zone for the carnivores. He's got the fame advantage. Double dippers. They did have the the fan factor advantage that worked out into a fame advantage. They have the plus one fame advantage going into this game. The carnivores with four rerolls. The double dippers with three you can see the carnivores are giving up the sidelines here otherwise uh, uh solid formation here they're a little off kilter on the line here uh do you think there's any particular reason for that because is he trying to funnel people towards the mighty blow players it looks like it to me he's got that one in the center that's a little bit in danger if uh well, he's just in danger, but <laughs> he, he, he's in danger. He's just straight up in danger of a blitz. Oh, good. Block flesh golem. Always Four a nice die. thing to see. Four die offensive line here for the double dippers. They've got one player wide in the left wide zone. That's Wyatt Wingfoot, the number eight zombie. Two players wide in the right wide zone currently. The circus does have a, a kicker. That means the Double Dippers might have two players back to receive. <laughs> Sorry. I love Clypheus' jokes. <laughs> oh, I, I, I can't see them. I, they're just, I, they're all filtered out. I have a pun filter. Mm -mm. I was told that Kislev Circus teams couldn't have a human cannonball because none of their players had the right caliber. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. I have a pun filter on audio as well. <laughs> Rocket Raccoon back to receive. Here's the kick. He's going to kick deep into the corner. It's a quick snap. A double dipper is get one extra space of movement. Ball's going to land on the double dipper 16 yard line. Nobody will be able to get there before the ball scatters, but he might be able to pick it up on the scatter. I think he might move the wolf back as well. I, 
I wouldn't mind that ball being in either of their hands, honestly. Shifts the, uh, the right wide zombie over into the line. Five man offensive line now for the double dippers. <laughs> where, where are the mods? Where are the mods? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to thank you for those bits. <laughs> You're going to curse me for those bits. <laughs> Turn one now for the double dippers. Two die black on the line. Both standing result will work out due to the block skill. Bruce Banner, the number five white. Whites come with block. Two die, Berserker Tempest, thank you for the bits. Two die, block on Dumpling the second. Look at the knockdown here. This is with the other white. It's got a block on number eight and then uh, maybe a blitz on feathers. Morris Dragon asks, wait, did the first dumpling die or get fired? Oh, he... I think he got... It... I think he died. Yeah, it was a beautiful funeral. Beautiful service. <laughs> Three die block on the journeyman. It's going to break armor. Got a stun. Blitz still on the table. Could be against the number four lineman feathers. He's a, a mighty blow lineman. It would be a two die blitz against him. It could be against anyone, really. It's going to depend on where that this ball goes. Dangerous one with the werewolf. Well, he can so do it with uh, two into he, one. He can do it with the flesh golem. Fair enough. But I don't know if I'd want to pull that flesh golem out of position. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, he wants to. Here it comes. Two die blitz. He's got the pal. Looking for a nine plus. Doesn't get it, but I'll get them out there. And then moves that flesh golem right back to almost where he started. <laughs> Loki, the number one werewolf. Back to protect the ball, but the ball pickup is good. Rocket Raccoon will hold on to this ball and will move back to the double dipper zone 18 yard line. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Spores Dragon asks, do the Necro big guys have a wild animal equivalent? These uh these flesh golems, you mean? They they have no nega traits at all. There are one strength uh, weaker than most of the other big guys. Indeed. Turn one now for the carnivores. I imagine they might just try to hang out here. They've lost uh they've lost their line, but uh, you know, as you do. Two die blitz on a zombo. Bucky Barnes gets the pal. Doesn't follow up. I love that spin kick. <laughs> it's pretty great. He's back in the position to keep this uh, column defense uh, in order. Yes, indeed. And that'll be the turn. Turn two. Back to the double dippers now. Nick Satan doing a real good job here. He, he knows. He relies on the rerolls. He's not going to get super antsy here. He just needs to stay in front of this uh, offense. Uh, this offense can certainly pass. You do have uh, a passing risk, but you know, 
I, I think the more turns he can get through without rolling dice, uh, the the better the better he's going to feel, and the better the better state he's going to be turn after turn. Two dive blitz again on feathers gets the pal. Doctor Doom, he's gonna trample toward Dumpling the second. Remember, these flesh golems have stand firm. When they get blocked, they can choose to stay right where they are and not get pushed back. Two die block on Dumpling the second now. Another knockdown here. Breaks armor, gets a KO. Well done. One man player advantage for the double dippers. Dippers are just gonna are gonna prance around their own 18-yard line. Rocket Raccoon, the ball carrier, the ghoul, moves into the left wide zone. And the two werewolves. They uh, they trample up to the line of scrimmage. Wyatt Wingfoot will okay, we'll take a couple of steps back, and that'll be the turn. Turn two now for the carnivores. Carnivores defensive line has been destroyed. The rest of their defensive formations intact. Two die blitz on Bucky Barnes. Look at the knockdown. Breaks armor. Ooh. Gets a KO. Getting that player advantage back. Yes, indeed. 10v10 on the pitch. <laughs> Snickers runs far away. We're saying this defense here, he's got uh, single players scattered uh, across the defense, almost like he's trying to defend against himself. Uh, needs to be uh, a little careful that his players don't get picked off. He's in pretty good shape. Um, just needs to be wary of that, especially with these, these flesh golems that can just hinder any sort of movement. So I think what you need to do next is add an entrance of the gladiators uh, sound alert for just for uh, Nick Satan's team. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Ditzo leaps over the offensive line. He's going to start applying some pressure to the ball carrier. Uh, turn three now for the double dippers. Oh, that journeyman. Oh, that, that <laughs> fella. Yeah, I'd probably start with Loki and then uh, keep knocking him around with everyone else. <laughs> Takes a mark on Ditso with the number 10 zombie, Peter Porker. People hate Necromantic? Since Who hates when? Necro? Yeah, everybody loves Necro. Good block by Wade Wilson. He's the number two werewolf. On that, uh, on that journeyman lineman, got the pal, didn't break armor. <laughs> Takes a mark on Chuckles, the number five lineman with Dr. Doom.
<laughs> oh, I fell into the trap. <laughs> I fell into the trap. Two die blitz right. I did so. I think I sprung it on you. <laughs> <laughs> Two die frenzy follow up. He's going to get the knockdown here on Ditzo. Good blitz. Good direction with the blitz as well. Double Dippers controlling pitch here. They've uh, encroached in on the Carnivore's territory here, and they're uh, doing a solid job of retaining their control of the pitch at mid-pitch. We saw the Double Dippers stall until late in the half before. It didn't work out. They ran out of time. We'll see if he's going to change that tactic uh, at all in this game. So far, at the end of turn three, he won't. He's going to shift Rocket Raccoon back to mid-pitch on the 18-yard line. That'll be the turn. Yeah, I, I tend to like that tactic myself. Like, stalling around until, like, turn four or five and then bringing up the ball. Is that a way just to keep the ball carrier safe? Yeah, and also a way to kind of test for holes and whatnot in the defense and maybe try and take a couple players off. Hmm, fair enough. One die blitz against Fing... Ooh. I'm gonna... I'm gonna call him Fin Fan Foon. Fin... Fing Fang Foon <laughs> uh, gets the knockdown. Anchorage says Nick making good use of his mighty blow player. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. He's showing us up. Good dodge by Chuckles, the number five lineman. Resetting his defense here. I imagine we'll see a leap with Ditso. Yes, indeed. Is he going to re-roll it? <laughs> oh, he says, nah, I'm good. Turn three? I don't know. I might have re-rolled it. I don't know. This I don't know if that's the right call. <laughs> yeah. I might have re-rolled it just because I could get so much movement. But uh, fair enough. Nick Satan says, nah, I'm good. Turn four back to the double dippers. Two die block on the left side of this uh, would be line. We're going to push against this journeyman. This journeyman is earning his paycheck today. Polish asked, isn't leap odds the same as dodge? Leap is, uh, with very long legs, it would be a three plus uh, a dodge at AG3. A positive dodge at AG3 would be a three plus as well. That is correct. Double dippers going after Floppy the Blitzer, it looks like. Here it comes. Two die blitz on Floppy. Gets the pal. Has to follow up due to Frenzy. So Break Armor gets a stun. Well done. Well done indeed. Remember, these werewolves have the claw skill. That means uh, when they block players, they treat their AV as if it was seven. Not a lot. They just tear through armor. Gotta love the claw. Unless your opponent has it, and then you got to hate it. Mm. 
Turn four here, the double dippers. Uh, still aren't really aren't really wrestling more pitch away from uh, from this Kislev team. They're they're doing okay over in the right wide zone, but um, they got to be careful here because their their fastest players are the Ghoul at MA seven and the Werewolves at MA eight. Everyone else is going to lag behind if he if uh, if he has to bolt. Hmm. Yeah, but if he can get a Werewolf three spaces up. He can score. Sure, I get the ball in the hands of a werewolf. Ball's gonna advance now. <laughs> Talking about booking. Ball's gonna advance to the four yard line. To the double dippers, double dippers own four yard line. Oh boy, he took a two die block with a zombie. Reed Richards is gonna get knocked down. The trade was not favorable. Reed Richards gets stunned. Both down result. Final time in the first the quarter. Worst trade. Not the worst trade, but certainly not a good one. Two die block on Dr. Doom at some point. Nick Satan's going to move Lucky the catcher over into the right wide zone. Even though Lucky is strength two, he is a blodger, so. Um, he's a little, he, well, I shouldn't say a little. He's a lot more resilient than um, a lot of new coaches might recognize. It's very obvious as a new coach to say, oh, oh I can get a two die against him. And a two die block is good, don't get me wrong. But uh, with only one of those faces on the die uh, that can knock you down, it's a lot more resilient than a normal block. While I was speaking, Lucky moves in to Mark Peter Porker. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wants to get the blitz on Peter Porker. Two high blitz gets the pal. Mighty blow in play. Breaks armor. Breaks armor. Got a KO. Well done. Two man player advantage now for the Carnivores. Lots of movement left with Snickers. He's going to set up a column in the right wide zone. There's that two-die block on Dr. Doom. He's going to knock down Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom's going to stay right where he is, thanks to Stan Firm. Yeah, I think it's only a one-player advantage now, isn't it? It is. Did I say two? Yes. Oh, it is a one-player advantage. It's 10v9 on the pitch. animation look at this animation he wasn't even going anywhere he just got kicked kicked in the junk <laughs> man he just gets kicked between the legs and the game goes oh you tried to dodge <laughs> second quarter begins the double dippers on their own four yard line the ref was looking at the stacks of money I handed him. <laughs> <laughs> Three rerolls apiece for the rest of this half. Four turns left in the half for the double dippers to try to score here. That's plenty of time with the speed that they have on this team. Mark is taken on Baggy, the number six lineman, by Fing Fang Boom, the number four flush golem. Takes a mark on Bingo, the number 12 blitzer, as well.
Takes the mark with Wade Wilson, the number two werewolf. Moves him all the way over in the left wide zone and Marks chuckles the, the, uh, the lineman. Advances the ball across the line of scrimmage here. It's now on the opposing two yard line. And Clyde is taking the bits. Yeah. It's a little bit of a open ball there. I'm a little surprised. Two dive block against Chuckles. This will be a knockdown by Bruce Banner. I imagine he'll follow up here. Well, maybe he doesn't. Yeah, I think it's better positioning if he doesn't. Well, he said, I don't care about your positioning. I'm advancing. <laughs> All right. Turn five now for the carnivores. The ball uh, somewhat exposed here in the left wide zone, but he'd have to dedicate a whole bunch of players to trying to get it. And then after that, I don't know how he would keep it safe. Two jumps and he could get a one die on the ball. Yeah, it's a one die against Dodge, though. Oh, I hate jump up. <laughs> jump up means uh, <laughs> you don't have to spend the three MA to stand up, and when you've got seven, that's that's huge. Blitz is down Wyatt Wingfoot. He's got to play defense here, though. Moves feathers into position in front of the ball. Moves Snickers somewhat into position. He still needs to cover not just the left wide zone, but he needs to cover mid pitch as well. I think the Ranger graciously lowers the GFI failure rate from 900% to 99%. Some would call that cheating, but I, I thank you for it. I appreciate it. I'd imagine he'll be jumping Baggy out before too long. Good dodge by Chuckles. Fail dodge by number two. He's going to spend the re-roll here. <laughs> He's going to get the mark to get the two-die block on Otto Octavius. Clavius, thank you for the bits. He's going to get a push out of this. <laughs> those, those ghouls are really going after the groin. <laughs> oh, boy, that's a... Failed leap. He spent his team re-roll. He doesn't get to spend another one this turn. That'll be a turn six now for the Double Dippers. You spins your re-roll. You takes your chances. Uh, as the old saying goes. <laughs> Double Dippers now find themselves with a re-roll left for every turn of this half. We may find them shifting this ball back to mid pitch here on this turn. Two die block against the journeyman lineman. It's going to get the foul here. Follows up with Dr. Doom. Under a minute to go for the Double Dippers. They're trying to figure out where they want to position this ball. They've got options. Boy, the things the things the Twitch auto mod finds objectionable are, are ridiculous. 
<laughs> or is it th things that it doesn't find objectionable that are really <laughs> getting it, you? It, no, it's the things like, uh, like they, it didn't like the phrase, they fail. <laughs> <laughs> Two die blitz against the number four Lyman Feathers. They're gonna get a push out of this. It looks like he's uh, committing to the left wide zone here. Doesn't necessarily have to. Maybe he's just trying to eke out some more pitch before he commits somewhere. Nope. Down the left wide zone it is. Ball advances to the eight yard line. GFIs with Reed Richards to get the two die block on Bingo. That'll be a push unless he spends the reroll. Why not spend the reroll there? You have three. Do you not want to risk? Not want to risk getting the skull. Turn six for the carnivores. They could get a two die here. Who would he get the two die with? Uh, leap someone on the north corner of the ghoul and then uh, bring in someone from below. Uh, I see. I see Feathers could say, come here, leap here. And then Floppy could just straight up come in on the blitz. Mm-hmm. going to blitz the werewolf instead. Two die blitz gets a push on Loki. Really? Spends a reroll. Once the knockdown doesn't get it. Doesn't follow doesn't up. Doesn't, shot. <laughs> doesn't want to be marked. Oh, but he follows up anyway. All right. Moves into a space to the right instead of uh, to the right of the follow up space, that is. I am a little surprised he didn't go after the ball. Yeah, I, I think personally, I think the right tactic there would have been uh, exactly what you described going after that two die blitz. Fail to dodge here, and that'll be the turn. Ooh, Snickers is stunned. That's a big, that's a big stun here against the carnivores. Turn seven for the double dippers. They are in scoring range. Won't score this turn though. They will more than likely not score this turn. Two die block against this journeyman who just will not die. He's gonna get pushed. He could actually just hand off to the werewolf and, and score with him. Werewolf goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Be two GFIs unless he blitzes down feathers. Yeah, he could blitz down feathers. Looks like that's exactly what he's looking to do here. Two die blitz. He'll get the knockdown on feathers. Well done. That's another great stun. If he hands off to Wade Wilson, he can score with no GFIs. Looks like he might be. He might be thinking about wait till turn eight though. I don't know. All of his other players are like just kind of out of position. I, again, I, I'm really skittish. I would just score. You've got a reroll. You've got a clear shot at the end zone. Two turns left for your your uh, the opposing team. I'd score. Double dippers are going to hold on to this ball. Two die block against Floppy. Oh, Floppy, no! <laughs> oh, dead Floppy. Oppo gets spent. 
Floppy is injured instead. He'll have to count his. Oh, man. Oh, count his injury. blessings. But I. You know what? I guess AV8 isn't the worst. No, I think it brings him down to AV7. I think his current AV is AV8. Uh. Two GFI. Whoa, no! Ooh. Ah! Went for the school score with the ghoul and said two GFIs. Failed the first GFI. Had the reroll. Failed the second GFI. The humanity. Oh, the necromancy. <laughs> Yeah, the two plus pickup. Nobody can roll past a one. Good pickup, by the, a good recovery by the carnivores here, but they need to hold on to the ball. On a strength two player, that might be a little tough. He is a blodger, but he's got to. He, you're absolutely right. He's got to get players back. And he's just spent his reroll. <laughs> oh, he's gonna punt the ball. We'll see if that beat enough of a punt. I think it might be. Enough of a punt? Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Did not see that coming. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I had the replay for the death all queued up and then he failed the GFI. <laughs> Unfortunate GFI failure there for the Double Dippers. They're going to take a 2 die block against the number 8 Journeyman. They're going to knock him down this time. 9 plus has Mighty Blow. Doesn't Good thing get it wasn't just a push. I block against Ditso. This is by the number one werewolf Loki. Breaks armor, gets a stun. What is that? <laughs> He's gonna pull in Wyatt Wingfoot for the assist uh, against uh, Riddles, the number two lineman. Boy, who's gonna get this ball though? Gotta be Wade Wilson, right? Yeah, it looks like a well. No nope. for a f favorable. Uh... Huh. All right, two die block. He'll get the knockdown on Riddles. He's gonna push onto the ball. <laughs> we'll see when this ball scatters. Holy moly! Well, double zippers will not be able to recover this ball. Uh, the carnivores can't score either. Oh, I totally forgot about his ghoul. He was going to try to pick the ball up with uh, with the number five white. And then go for the pass. Fair enough. But uh, couldn't dodge away that ghoul. Which is unfortunate. Got a free reroll on that dodge. Failed to dodge. The ghoul got KO'd. Hopefully that ghoul will come back in the second half. Turn eight for the carnivores now. They can't score, but they can certainly beat somebody up. <laughs> oh, bingo. <laughs> they can beat themselves up, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the half. You know what? Any half for you. <laughs> At least you didn't die. <laughs> it's true. That was a half. Quite the half.
<laughs> Berserker Tempest, thank you for the bits. <laughs> You know, any half where you uh, you prevent your opponent from scoring, I think that's a good half. I think that's a good half on defense. That's a great half on defense. Ten v nine on the pitch. One man player advantage for the double dippers in this second half. Lefty's asking, is it ten v ten still or ten v nine? It's ten v nine. Let me double count. Four seven nine versus five ten. Ten v nine. Did I say double count? I should have said double check. Double count sounds like a counting fraud. <laughs> or a Dracula sequel. <laughs> double count. <laughs> no movement by the carnivores here. There might be a, a pause that has happened. Carnivores have four rerolls. He did an excellent job managing his, his rerolls, Nick Satan that is, in that half. Oh, no worries, Berserker Tempest. <laughs> Five seconds to go. I imagine this is going to be a pause. Yes, indeed. Double Dippers are going to set up their defense. How do you think he's going to set up his defense here against this, uh, this Kislev team? Hmm. I would imagine... Just zombies on the line and everyone else back a couple spaces to compensate for their ability to jump. Yeah, I think he'll probably he'll probably have a three man line. I think they'll probably be zombies. Um, he might go with the flesh columns on the line just to try to control mid pitch. Uh, the werewolves will probably be in the in the. Uh, I was going to say safety, but they'll probably be linebackers. He does have to be careful of the blitz. Um, no, he's on defense. He doesn't have to be careful about the blitz. He is the blitz. He is the blitz. Clavius, thank you for the bits. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> I like Boot Polish's comment about uh, <laughs> if it was Blood Bowl 3, this would have been a an auto concede. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so it looks like you're alright. Three zombies on the line here for the double dippers. Yeah, keeping those flesh golems mobile is tough to do sometimes. It can really make or break your defense. Sure. Looks like he's going to concede uh, both wide zones, it looks like. And hopefully not the game. <laughs> hopefully not the game. He didn't get back his ghoul. That's one of his faster players. Black is asked, oh, his ghoul is still KO'd, isn't he? Isn't he? Yes, he is. Yeah, that's a pretty rough KO. Only Barino says, those werewolves are so fast they can cover the wide zones. They, they certainly can. Tight column formation here for the double dippers. They've got 25 seconds left to go with it. They say, I'm, I'm good. We'll see if the carnivores here on offense are going to try to chip away at, at some of the wide zone here and, and try to claim some of this territory for themselves. I imagine we'll uh, see a four-man offensive line here to block down these zombies. 
no kicker on the roster for the double dippers. Five man offensive line, wow. Yeah, this has really been a great game to watch. It has. I don't like having all these players on the line. When you're down to nine players like this, uh, it can be very easy for those guys to just be locked in Mortal Kombat for the rest of the half. He's got he's got to watch out for that blitz. All right, here's the kick. It's a quick snap. Just like the first half, we get a quick snap. The carnivores are going to uh, get to move one space. I think he'll move up his his tackles here. I would imagine so. Nope. <laughs> Caught the ball due to diving catch. Blocks on the line to take. Turn nine now. Carnivores. I'm going to try to block down this defensive line. They're going to get a pal on Reed, Richard, uh, Reed Richards. The right defensive tackle. This is a mighty blow, uh, pal, by Snickers. Breaks armor. Oh, with the flash kick, gets a KO. Well done. It's now 9v9 on the pitch. Another mighty blow block. This time it's going to be a push against Wyatt Wingfoot. But he'll get another block out of this due to Bingo being on the line. Oh, forget That's everything cool. I said about Snickers being bloaty. Really been, <laughs> <laughs> really been knocking him out. Yeah, he's been putting in the work with him. Well done. Four players have activated. Five left. Takes a mark on the remaining two linemen with the journeyman. Still has a blitz to take, but I don't I don't know if he wants to take it. Honestly. Tries to set up a pocket for himself. He's going to advance the ball to the 12-yard line. Well, we'll see if Riddles stays standing after this turn. Defensive line stands back up. The momentum favors the carnivores here. They just need to keep the ball safe. Mark is taking on the number four lineman on feathers. Oh, ho, ho. Fing Fang Foom is going to move into position right up against that offensive line. No fear whatsoever. Dr. Doom does the same on the right side. So he... Did after, he took him a turn, but he did move those flesh columns in to, to mid-pitch here, put him on the line. He's going to try to control mid-pitch with these two players. <clears throat> Blitz still on the table. Do you think, uh, do you think maybe he takes a mark? Well, I don't know. I don't know if he if he wants to get, be so aggressive as to blitz riddles or not. Yeah, maybe. I, I would imagine he wants to keep that back line somewhat mobile. Because one thing about Kislev is they can really break away from you fast. Yeah, once they jump away. Two dive blitz on feathers. This is the left tackle. It's going to be a push.
five players on the line now for this defense. Wade Wilson, the number two werewolf. He's going to move to the right side of the line, or the right side of the of mid-pitch, I should say. Ten seconds left of the double dippers here in turn number nine. Boy, oh boy, that defense. That defense yeah. is... Getting a little aggressive there. <laughs> yes, indeed. Turn 10 for the carnivores. El Nubarino asks, is this a rare overcommit by Sweet Bunny? Or is it a trap for the carnies? I, you know what? I had the exact same thought. I was like, man, he's getting super aggressive. But if it is a trap, I'd love to see it because I don't see what it is yet. <laughs> <laughs> Carnivores, looks like they're going to set up the blitz on Bruce Banner. He's the number five white on the right side of the line. Carnivores have lots of die rolls to tip make to clear out this line. That's the first one. Good dodge. Two die block gets the knockdown. Well done. He's looking for a nine plus. Absolutely will not follow up there. Just the same, the carnivores here need to be careful with their positioning uh, to keep this ball safe. Just one mistake can open up a crack in the in the offense uh, offensive protection of the ball carrier. Oh, I think he needs like, to re-roll this. Like that. <laughs> like that. Spends the re-roll. He's looking for a three plus. He got it. And now he has no re-rolls remaining. <laughs> he doesn't try to leap out that journeyman. He says, somebody can eat the block on the journeyman. That's fine. Make them roll some dice. Yeah, absolutely. Tie up a player or burn a blitz or something. Although the flesh golems have a three die coming against him right now. Uh, four, five, six, seven. They sure do. There's that three die block. It's going to be another push against this journeyman. You can't stop him. <laughs> journeyman's going to get picked off here. The journeyman that wanted to live. <laughs> <laughs> Second three die block against this journeyman. This time's going to be a pal. A nine plus breaks armor. That journeyman, uh, I have to imagine, is going to be out of the drive, effectively giving the Double Dippers a player advantage. Oh, I'd be tempted to foul him with one of the zombies at this point. <laughs> oh, man, I, I don't think I would. <laughs> That's scary. Nine players left on the pitch. Uh, I don't know. Oh boy, he's getting aggressive here on uh, on this offensive line. Trying to lock down these players. He's trying to force the carnivores to roll dice. Roll enough dice, you're going to fail one eventually. Yeah, playing Kislev without rerolls is real tricky. It's it's uh it's virtually game over <laughs> in my opinion. Two die blitz on feathers gets the pal. He will follow up here. Oh, he didn't follow up. I am mistaken. My apologies for being so presumptuous. Got a stun out of it. That's a great stun. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Chip thrust. <laughs> Turn 11 for the carnivores now. Oh my goodness, what do you do? Those two werewolves are still in excellent position. You can't just run away. Those werewolves will, will slaughter you. Two die blitz against Bruce Banner gets the pow. Mighty blow in effect, but didn't break armor. Mighty blow doesn't matter when you roll a three. <laughs> GFI has to get Snickers back into position. Ball carrier is currently uh, currently in range of being blitzed by the werewolf. It would only be one blitz, though. Would be a two die though. It certainly would. Good knockdown on Peter Porker on the left side of the line. Great job by Sweet Bunny too, pushing this offensive line back and, and eking out some territory for himself. It's not often that you see the defense push forward. Blitz has been spent. Three players are still end, uh, ending marked here. Four, really, if you count the journeyman. Oh, he, oh boy. All right. One, two, three, four. Let's... One, two, th uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Two GFIs to get a two die okay. blitz. <laughs> Move up the white and knock that lineman down with the zombie. And then we give him less, one, so. two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he would get both blocks. Both frenzy blocks. Yeah, he'd just need to push him. Yes, indeed. Good call. Hank the Ranger says the carnivores have been more bashy than I thought they would. They have. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. We're going to see a blitz. A blitz on Lucky. Remember, Lucky is a blodger. But he's going to be eating four werewolf dice shortly. Two die block by Reed. Richards is going to come up uh, shortly against Ditso, the number seven lineman. He's the sole offensive player protecting the ball carrier. Good action ordered by the double dippers. He's moving players first. For rolling dice. Took the two die block against the journeyman. Got the KO. I probably would have taken the block against the defender instead, in case I lost my V roll. Looks like you wanted to free up Fing Fang Boom. Tying up all of these kids left players. There's that two die block. All he needs is the push. He's going to push him to the inside. Wade Wilson blitzing the ball carrier. Here it comes. First block is all he needed. There's Ooh. the pal. Broke armor as well. Got a stun out of it. He's going to GFI on the ball. Oh, I, I can't imagine that he will. I, I don't think it's necessary. He's got everybody else tied up. Literally everybody else tied up. Really well done here by Sweet Bunny. He 
<laughs> he's thinking about it. <laughs> he's like, should I? Should I? If he gifts out, if he, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, it takes the one die, gets a pal. If he GFI'd onto that ball out. and wasn't able to pick it up, boy, or, I think Party uh, Boys. Slipped and uh, knocked himself out. <laughs> <laughs> well, the carnivores. From, from experience, I have. Uh... <laughs> carnivores have their work cut out for them here. Good dodge to take a mark on Wade Wilson. Werewolves have a strength of three. Is he going to try the blitz with Snickers? Who's going to try to get the ball back? I'd imagine that Snickers is probably the one to make the attack. Two that blitz with Snickers. Oh, boy. Not going to work. He, I think he's got to reroll this. He does. <gasps> It's a both standing result. Oh! <laughs> Spicy. Wade Wilson's gonna remain standing. Carnivores take a third mark on that werewolf. Fail to dodge. Oh, got a stun. That's that's no good. That's freeing up a number of players. Turn are 12. Getting real spicy now. <laughs> Indeed. Turn 12 for the double dippers. Final turn of the third quarter. Oh, I think these standing players who are marked are all gonna eat two dice. And then I, I imagine we'll see a blitz on Chuckles. There's the mark on Chuckles. Yeah, two die block against Baggy gets the pow. Baggy, no! Armor. <laughs> That is another great stun for the Double Dippers. Oh my. Dude, I block against Feathers is the push. The Feather Touch. <laughs> is he gonna push him to the side here and follow up and get another two die on him? Nope. Final two die here on marked players will be against Riddles. Second assist against Chuckles. He's the uh, he's the sole carnivore who's marking this ball there's that two die against riddles gets the pal here looking for a nine plus this is going to free up peter porker <laughs> he'll probably end up right here no he's going to go here instead fair enough Two die block by Wade Wilson. He's going to have to follow up due to Frenzy, and that gets him out of the marks. A little surprised he didn't make that the blitz so he could. So keep moving? Yeah, and maybe get the ball with him. But... Having two marks on the ball, though, is pretty good. Ball pick up by the white works out. Bruce Banner's gonna carry this ball. All right. Well done, Bruce. Ball currently on the carnivore's 12 yard line. Bruce Banner. Oh. He could hand off the ball. Let's see where this blitz ends up. 
Dude, I blitz gets a push. He'll have to follow up here. The second two die frenzy blitz. Or frenzy block, oh. I should say. Gets the knockdown here. Oh, uh, wow. That, <laughs> that KO just turned it from a two die on the ball to a one die on the ball. Wow. It'll still be a two die uh, blitz oh, on I the guess ball, it will. I think. Yeah. But that's one less player to try to recover the ball. Try to make it safe. Here's that blitz. Two die blitz on the ball carrier. Double skulls, that ain't gonna work. Boy, oh boy, a oh, both standing boy. result again. Nuffle is unkind. <laughs> <laughs> Cardiwar is down to one rear. All the double dip double dippers have three. I'm not sure there's anything they can do to prevent Lucky and Snickers from just eating grass on the next turn. Nuffle giveth and Nuffle slappeth the uh, ice cream cone out of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a do die uphill block on Wade Wilson. That'll be a push result. Stands up riddles. Good dodge. Only has two more spaces of movement. Decides not to mark anyone with that player. Turn 13 back to the double dippers. <laughs> Oh boy, that is a scrum and a half. One GFI to score. <gasps> There's the mark on Lucky. Not so lucky now. Sorry, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Takes a blitz on Lucky. That's fine. Gets a frenzy follow up here. He'll get the knockdown. Oh, Lucky's not lucky at all. Oh, no! That's the end of Lucky's career. He's now down to a strength of one. He cannot remain on the roster. Good movement with this werewolf now to get the two-dive blitz. Lucky in air quotes now. Looks like he's going to try to block Bingo first. Nope. There's Snickers. Frenzy follow up. Gets the knockdown. Well done. Great use of Frenzy with these werewolves. Another great stun. This Kislev team is, is destroyed. Do die block. Wow. Nuffle almost gave... The carnivore's a break there, but the reroll was spent, and now it's a GFI to score. I Doesn't don't have... think he is, even needs to GFI. There's no one yeah. that could get to him. He can bring Wyatt Wingfoot in and just keep this cage together. I don't know, he's marked. I mean, there's nobody left on the pitch! <laughs> Two die block. He's gonna get a push out of this. Might be considering that both down. Uh, it wouldn't be a both down. He'd uh, he he get oh, knocked down. Well, Chuckles has block eight. 
didn't yeah. notice that. 16 seconds to go. Is he going to try to score? No. Ball. He's, in, he's in good position to stall for another turn, I think. Yeah, the ball's uh, pretty well protected here. <laughs> oh, boy. Takes a dodge. Fails the dodge. The carnivores have no rerolls left. There's a second failed dodge. Oh. Ball's safe. <laughs> Ball's pretty safe. Turn 14 for the double dippers now. He'll uh, almost certainly advance this ball. He will not score on this turn. There's no need to take the risk. Good luck, Riddles. Oh, heartbreaking for the Carnivores. They fought so hard here, uh, and it just uh, didn't work out. They're out of rerolls, and now their their gimmick is super risky. They're also out of uh, players. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that they uh, fought so hard and came so far, but in the end it didn't even matter? Nope, I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Nine v six on the pitch. Three man player advantage for the double dippers. Yeah, I was just checking. <laughs> <laughs> Ball's gonna advance to the carnivores' twenty yard line. There'll be a, a two die block against Riddles coming up. Boy, not only is he out of players and out of rerolls, but some of these injuries are—I mean, both these injuries are pretty bad. One player's going down to AV7, the other player's going down to a strength of one. <laughs> eh, AV7 isn't so bad. I think it's pretty bad. It's certainly, you know what, certainly not as bad as a strength of one. He doesn't have to worry about claw now. When, when catchers are getting two die blocks on you, <laughs> something's very wrong. Two die blitz on Riddles. Oh, another injury. Holy moly. Oh, thankfully there's no long-term effect. <laughs> it's 9v5 on the pitch now. Still a couple of blocks to take. Well, we wanted blood. We certainly got it. <laughs> we, we sure did. This ball is very well secure at this point. Two die block. Works out to the block skill. He's going to knock down Ditso. I'll bring in the assist and get a two die on probably Bingo. Great positioning here with the zombie. He's going to get a pal on Bingo. Well done. Go for it. Go for it. Get in there. Get that ball. I believe in you, carnivores. I believe in you. Go in there. You get a stand up dodge with Snickers. Mark the back of this cage. Leap in. All right, fine. Do it the other way. That's fine. Stand up. Leap in there. Get your one die block. Let's go. Yes! Yes! Hey! One die blitz! Let's do it! That ain't gonna work! <laughs> but I respect it! <laughs> I hope you survive, Snickers! <laughs> that was... that was gutsy. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Go in there with one die blitz. You knock down the ball carrier and you hope it 
just scatters all the way up to like the 14 yard line. Uh, what you do at that point, I don't know, but. <laughs> <laughs> Turn 15 for the Double Dippers. No reason whatsoever. Uh, actually, you know what? I'd probably score at this point just because uh, it's free. You can. And what are the, what are the what's the circus going to do? <laughs> how are they going to how are they going to come back? But I imagine uh, I imagine Sweet Bunny will score on turn 16. He, he could surf Snickers with the werewolf right now. Oh, no, wait. Could he? No, not quite. Two die blitz with Loki gets the pow on Snickers. Yeah, just score one to zero. Good the score. double dicker, double, <laughs> excuse me, double dippers. Boy, that's a totally different team. <laughs> the oh, double my. dippers. <laughs> I'll take the lead one to zero. One turn remaining in this game. Very well done by Sweet Bunny. Two KO players are going to come back for the carnivores. One turn left. If there's a riot, we'll get a second turn. The Double Dippers will have an opportunity to score. Double dippers are gonna keep keep players in the game, but taking them way off the line, just in case something happens. Double dippers will be leaving one reroll on the table, unless of course there's a riot. I hope one of the carnivores just gets hit in the head with a rock. <laughs> Anyone in particular? No, nope. <laughs> just, just to add insult to injury. He <laughs> says, I want, I want to see a werewolf get his with a rock. Yeah, that's fine too. Yeah, I'm I'm super glad that Throw Rock got replaced with Officious Ref in the 2020 rules where the player just gets sent to the penalty box instead of uh, getting killed. <laughs> yeah. The armor break can, uh, uh, getting a, an armor break on a kickoff event can be rough. Carnivores currently have a five-man offensive line. They're up against a three-man defensive line. They've got one back to receive. Looks like they're not hoping for the riot here. But here's the kick. I'm hoping for a riot too. But that's not going to do it. <laughs> one turn left for each coach here. <laughs> the double tippers are pulling. They said, all right, you know what? He's not going to score pulling everybody back. Well done. Fair call. enough. Still has to leave three on the line of scrimmage. Has to be a legal defense. Um, but otherwise, he can do whatever he, whatever he likes. Clive says I would be putting every single player on the line <laughs> so he could take blocks. <laughs> S'mores Dragon is perplexed. He doesn't want to get in one last murder? <laughs> it is It is kind of rude not to get in one last murder. Final turn. Turn 16. The carnivores are up. They've got 
Uh, three blocks and a blitz. It'll probably be two blocks and a blitz. And maybe even a foul. Why not? Oh, wait. Nick Satan doesn't like the foul. He, uh, he thinks it's uh, strategically not a good move. Did I block? It's the push on Peter Porker. Here's the blitz. Mighty blow blitz. Gets a push. <laughs> Gets even strange. <laughs> oh, man. A mighty push. A mighty push. Takes the block with the journeyman. If it works out, maybe he hires himself a journeyman. I don't think he has any money. Maybe he does. Try to get some SPP on Baggy, perhaps? Oh, he is going for the foul. Hey! Hey! Gets the foul, gets a stun out of it. Now he'll probably try to pass for some SPP. Well, can't pass for SVP if you can't pick up the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a game. Yeah, very good game by both coaches here. Excellent defense by the Carnivores in the first half to prevent the Double Dippers from scoring, and then the Double Dippers with an excellent defense here in the second half to recover the ball and reclaim their touchdown. They're going to win this one 1-0. One to and that'll be the game. One to zero. Well done. Bruce Banner, the number five white. He's going to level up. He's the MVP for the Double Dippers, whereas Lucky, the catcher. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's he's the Ooh. MVP for the Carnivores. Oh, there, oh that that's heartbreaking. Yeah, there, <laughs> I mean, there's no way Lucky stays on the roster, right? There's no way. Oh, not Lucky at all. At all. <laughs> oh, what a what a bad night for the carnivores, <laughs> but a good night for us. <laughs> the ironically named Lucky. <laughs> Double Dippers, uh, they dominated ball possession this evening. 90 running yards versus just the 10 for the carnivores. They couldn't get their offense started. The carnivores sustained double the blocks that the uh, Double Dippers did. SPP for the evening. The Carnivores only got their MVP, and it's on a player who's going to be retired. Whereas the Double Dippers picked up 14 SPP for the night. Man. Man. <laughs> Rough like night. on your wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> Rough night for the Carnivores. Let's take a look at the sketch. Oh, I just realized the stadium is Earth, Earth 616. Well done. Well done. Kudos. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's take a look at the schedule before we leave. Coming up next is going to be a game tomorrow night, Monday, May the 1st at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. That's UTC minus four. That's going to be the friendly neighbor Kaiju versus Donkey Teeth, Merrick versus Dead Fred, uh, Lizards versus Wood Elves. That's uh, that's going to be a real fun one. <laughs> and then uh, on Thursday, May 4th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, it's going to be my game, the Dead Presidents versus Damaged Dragons. That's going to be Undead versus Lizards. Uh, myself, Avian 2 versus War Horsemen. Uh, there's one game left to be scheduled for week number four. That's going to be the Masters of Mantle versus the Mazda Homies, El Nubarino versus Em and Thought Ep. That's uh, Dark Elves versus Lizards, I believe. Uh, that's also bound to be a fun one. And uh, when that game gets scheduled, you'll be able to check out and get alerted to that schedule on our website at mammal.club. That's M A M L dot C L U B here on Twitch or on our social media pages on Twitter, Mastodon, and Facebook. You can listen to our podcast, Mammal Talk, and watch previous games on our YouTube channel, Play Blood Bowl. Where else? Where else can you beat up on a circus crew? Just, <laughs> just kick them in the face with cleats. You can play Blood Bowl via <laughs> Blood Bowl 2 and Blood Bowl 3 on Steam and in tabletop form at your friendly local game store. You play tabletop a lot, don't you, Artificial Bunny? I love tabletop so yeah. good there's no bad way to play blood bowl go go check it out play some it's it's such a fantastic game artificial buddy thanks for joining me thanks for having me can we uh expect you tomorrow night uh 
if I'm off work in time, absolutely. Great. <laughs> then we'll, uh, we'll hope to see you there. And right. uh, we'll see we'll see the rest of you here tomorrow night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Until then, take care, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.